Shama Lama, Shama Lama Lama Ding Dong. You took a who mama. Oh, 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 oh. Back. Remember that song? <laughs> Do you guys remember that? Remember that song? It's from Animal House. That's what they meet. Otis, my man, in the bar somewhere, somewhere in Illinois that they were not supposed to be. They met Otis singing at a bar, nightclub actually. Some lovely young ladies. Do you mind if we dance with your dates? Welcome to your Vape at Five. I am your host. I am Black Cat. I have, I got something fantastic for you. Ground breaking, ground breaking YouTube video coming at you right now. Anarchy coiled. It's coming right now, AC. My, my Al Collins, whatever his name is, Al Collins, that's his name. <laughs> You're on! I think that's his name. Groundbreaking. This is going to be something. Now, I, I'm not going to go through and say hello to everybody. I just don't have time. I don't have time. I've got to get this done. There's a lot of stuff I have to do today. And this build, this build's going to take a minute. It's going to take a minute. Not really. Well, it's going to. So I'm going to make it like three sets. So it's going to take a little bit. So just, you guys got to hang in. Hang in there. I want you. Hang in. Hang on tightly. Hold on tightly. Mortal Words of 38 Special. How's everybody doing? Great day. It's Wednesday. Most of us who had New Year's Day off went back to work today. I was not. I was one of those people who went back to work today miserable. Like, I did not want to go back to work at all. When the alarm went off, I was like, I do not want to get out of bed. I did, though, because that is my duty as an American, I guess. My duty as a parent, as somebody who's responsible for a bunch of other people that has to like put food on the table, I had to get my ass out of bed and go to work. Couldn't take a nap. Terrible. Everybody was there today. Everybody shows up the day after a holiday. Everybody. That's fucking stupid. So I couldn't take a nap, which really was a bummer because I could have used one. I could have used one. I, I'm, I am completely jacked up on coffee, just so you know. I am like 100% ramped, ready to rock and roll. This is my, had a, had, a, had a cup in the morning, a Mountain Dew, then I had a cup at lunch, and now I'm having another cup. So I'm ready to rock and roll. I hope you got, you guys ready to rock and roll? You ready to party? I hope so. All right, so what we're going to do today. So this is a different twist on an old classic, um, a three-core alien, okay? Now, as you guys know, I am all about square wire. I love Square Wire. I love the way it vapes. I think it's fantastic. I love the ramp up. I love the surface area that you get from it. And I just think it's an all around better vape. And I, and I will never, probably never be convinced otherwise. I'll probably never go back to round wire. But what we're going to do is we're going to incorporate round wire and square wire into an alien build. Very, very simple. Something you can do if you have. The reason I'm going to do this one is because a lot of people are, are I've talked to about using square wire are um, they're concerned about the cost and uh, I can understand that it's expensive like for 0.4 square wire it'll cost you like 16 17 bucks just for 100 feet that's a lot of money to invest in some square wire and I get it so by using this method um, basically it's like a fralian but um, instead of using ribbon we're going to use the square wire in the middle so what we're going to do is we're going to take two pieces of 27 gauge and we're going to frame that around a piece of 0.4 by 4 square wire, all nichrome 80. I'm going to decor off of a 27 gauge decor. Now, it's a little, be a little tight, but I think it'll work. And, I, and I'm not going to drop down to a 26. I do have a 26 gauge decor. If it does mess up, I can run over and grab that and keep going. But I'm going to try to keep it with the 27 gauge decor. I think, and I think it's going to lay okay. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and start doing it because it's going to take me a little bit. I'm doing about probably 40 inches of decor here and I'm gonna try to make two or three sets um, just so I have them because if I'm gonna make it I I'm using my uh, cord my corded drill so it'll go a little faster with that regard but uh, it's still gonna take a little bit to get the whole thing done so that's what I'm doing that's what you guys are in for today I'll uh, put the top camera over so you guys can see what's going on or as I like to call the macro camera even though there's no macro about it at all that's what I call it but it's not a macro camera you're not macroing anything you know, it's just me. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, it is great to see everybody. It looks like we got a pretty good crowd. I hope you guys enjoyed the, uh, had a show yesterday with Prescription Coiled. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, really interesting kid, person, guy, um, and uh, really enjoyed it talking to him. Great guy. 
uh, really great. People were very impressed with Peyton, his um, his daughter. Um, just a, it just a, it's so great, you know, seeing it, you know, seeing uh, the kids and everything running around. I thought that was fantastic. So just a great time, Corey, and I really appreciate it. We got today. There is a giveaway. Speaking of Corey, there is a giveaway today for a set of his coils and two 30 mils of a Dory liquid. Now you're asking yourself, this can't be Scott. How could this possibly be? How could this giveaway be going on right now? It's amazing. It is absolutely amazing. I, I'm flabbergasted that it's available. Well, you should, you should fucking be, because it's awesome. The, how are you going to get this giveaway? How are you going to enter? You're wondering right now. Are you wondering, Anthony Barry? Are you wondering how you're going to enter this giveaway? Well, I'm going to tell you. You're going to enter this giveaway by going to Monday's episode of The Vape at Five. I believe it is number 197, okay? 197, it is Black Cat's Featured Builder Prescription Coils. You're going to put a number in the comment section of that video between 1 and 150. At the end of this episode, I will be drawing a number, and the winner will be the number that I pick. Closest to the number without going over, of course. Price is Right rules here on the Vape at Five in honor of the late Bob Barker dead. Is he dead, Bob Barker? In honor of the late Bob Barker? He's pretty dead, isn't he? He's got to be dead. There's no way he's still alive. Is he still alive, Jeff Sailor? Yeah. Is he alive? I hope so. I love Bob. Bob was awesome. I think he's dead. I think he's dead because I remember seeing something with Adam Sandler. I was like going to see him or something. They were like they were like cutting it up. And he was in a hospital. He didn't look very good. But uh, yeah, love Bob Barker. Even when he got, you know, Bob, Bob was a crafty old SOB. Bob, Bob uh, got caught uh, putting it to one of the Barker's beauties. Remember that? She was gorgeous too. I was like, holy cow. Bob. I guess you know being the being the being the boss of the show came came you know that was back before the Me Too movement. That was back when it was just like people did all kinds of awful shit to people back then. I don't know. It probably was. I don't know if it was. Yeah, I probably shouldn't run my mouth because I don't know if it was um, consensual. I assume it probably was. Bob was Bob was a pretty pretty uh, pretty uh, sly dog back in the day. You know, he wasn't always 107 years old. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to make a Clapton real quick and decor a 27 gauge. We're going to use all Nichrome 80, as I always do. And we're going to make it super duper fast, super duper fast with the corded drill. All right, so I got my, uh, I've got my review schedule for the rest of the month. I was supposed to do a review today. Typically, or at least for the last couple months, Wednesday has been my review day. And uh, I didn't have a review for today. I planned on doing the Jenna, but it kind of got pushed out with shipping, which is no problem. No problem at all. I'm um, just going to have to skip this, this review. And I didn't plan for a backup, which is my own fault. With it being the holiday and all that and other stuff going on, I just didn't think about it. So, I, you guys, you know, I doubt anybody's going to, you know, I doubt you guys are that upset. <laughs> I'm going to do a build instead. But I figured I should tell you guys. What we got, though, for coming up for reviews... We are going to do the Jenna RDA, which will probably be next week. And that is Jay Hayes' Jenna um, that you've heard a lot about, single coil flavor Addy. Uh, we're going to do that next week. Everything works out the way that it looks like it's going to work out. We're going to do that. Following week, we're going to do the GOAT. So we're going to do the GOAT by Own Boy, OC, and uh, Grim Green. So that will be in two weeks. And then uh, following that will be the dual top side. So do the dual top side after that. And then the last one is going to be the Bonza one and a half. A little bit older, but something we can throw. I was a big fan of the original Bonza. So uh, we're going we're gonna to take a look at this. And uh, that's from uh, the Vaping Bogan. So we'll take a look at that on. I don't have much 36 left on this reel. So I'm just going to go until it runs out. Hopefully I can get at least like three fourths of the way down this wire. Not have to uh, cut it off. And then I have another one. I've actually got, I've got to buy a wire. I've been going through wire so quick because I've been building a lot lately. I've been building a lot lately, trying to catch up, trying to, because I got a lot of people that I build for now in the Patreon. And uh, I, I like, I, I give a welcome package to people who join. So if you, if you want to join, you get a welcome package. And uh, welcome package includes coils. So I've just been like building, 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 building. Mostly, it includes a shirt too, at most levels, but yeah. So I've been like swamped. Alright, let's get it going. Keep our fingers crossed, I make it all the way down. Let's go up top for you guys to see this. I don't know if you guys want to see it, don't want to see it, but you're going to see it. God damn it. Oh, 
Let me get the macro up here. Uh, come on, bro. There we go. Zooming it in. There we go. All right. I got a new build mat coming. I'm pretty happy about. So what I do here is I put uh, masking tape on top of the spool here. Reason being is it's no friction at all in your finger. So when you let it, when you're letting it spin, it's My camera's not gonna go this far, so I'm just gonna turn it like that. There you go. Maybe you can still see here. <laughs> nope, I got build I gotta build that coming, Charlie. of the wire how funny is that pulled it right off all right so i hope it wound it really tight too so that actually kind of stinks let me see oh it grounded into the wire so let's just reverse it let's pull this nice and tight oh no that's on there so tight oh no no i ground it right into that wire Son of bitch shit. This doesn't feel loose either. There's no way in hell that is coming off. There's no way in hell. I ground it completely into the wire. When it uh, caught, when it caught, like when the end of the wire spool ran out. So it's a, it's a corded drill. So it doesn't automatically stop when you let off the ham, ham, hammer. <clears throat> and it basically just kept going and like ground it right in. <sighs> All right. I can fuck with it or I can just do something different. Let's see if I can get this off here. God, it's, I mean, it's so tight. It's ridiculous. Let's see if I can get it, a piece of it off here. If I can, then I'll start walking it back. Let's try. Oh man, it is not coming. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait right there, kids. Wait right there. Hold on. Hold on. We're going to give it the old Scotty try here, guys. We're not going to give up on this. 
Okay, so there's a piece of it. Hold on. Okay, I got a piece. I got a piece. I got a little itty bitty piece. Now, no, don't tell me it broke. You didn't break, did you? No, you didn't break. You know, fuck. Oh, Lord. <laughs> this is awful. How long did I say the show was today? All right. Wait a minute. You just wait just a minute. I may get it. You know, not the greatest coil velder in the universe for nothing. Little, 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 uh, little things like this, you know. I just knock them out, knock them out of the park. I think I got it. I think I got it. Let's see, is it this way down here? Feels pretty loose. Let's give it a shot. Can we give it a shot? Can we give it a shot? Give it a shot. Oh, like butter. What do you know? <laughs> right there, guys. Woo! I didn't think I was getting it off. I really did. I was like, that is fucked. I'm not getting that off of there. <laughs> I was like looking into the, I was like looking at the core of the wire. It's like indented into. It. I was like, oh shit, that's pretty good on there. All right, I got it. I got it. Panic. No one panic. Pan tragedy avoided. Completely. Fucking awesome. I <laughs> Literally, if I if I would have been live, I just would have been like, take it off here and throw it right away. I wouldn't even have fucked with it. I'm like, I got to do another one. All right, so that reel is down. So I got. <clears throat> that's probably. I'd assume that's about maybe 25 inches of decor. So um, let's grab a piece of 27. I figure I can probably make two sets. Let's try to make two sets. And put this right here. So grab my 27. And grab it here. Let's take out about an arm's length. That should be plenty. All right, stretch it out, get it nice and straight. One thing that sucks about having such a small build space is I never have any place to put my wire. Like when I stretch it out and try to lay it down, I never have any place to put it. it sucks. That is the one thing that really sucks. All right, I already got a piece of uh, 0.4 cut and ready. So I don't have to worry about that. All KP build today, guys. All KP wire. Now I need a little piece. I see a piece of 40 gauge there I can use. Put the 27 gauge back. And I'm gonna grab the end of this 27 gauge, grab the other end, and I'm just gonna fold them together. Now I'll fold them together just like that. Line them both up. I'm gonna cut that end off there. Just like that. Take your, so I'm making my frame. I'm gonna go up here, I'm gonna grab it. Both, both pieces like that turn it up and then just pull it straight back. So I get it right in the middle, right there. Give it a little wiggle, straighten it out. And when you let it go, it's gonna flop, but that's all right. Cause we got it right in the middle where we want it. Now take that 0.4 by four square wire, cut off this raggedy end on it. Always clean up the wire before I use it just, just because it gets caught on things. And I'm just gonna frame it right inside that 27 gauge. I'm gonna frame it right in the middle of it. And I'm gonna take a piece of 40 gauge and I'm gonna tie it as best I can. And then I don't have my glue gun plugged in, so I'm gonna to have to light the stick today, which is unfortunate. I feel guilty. Glue gun warriors, glue gun army, glue gun generals, stand at the ready, because this is gonna get this could get really ugly really quickly. I'm just gonna tie this up about 10 wraps around there. We're gonna cut it off. Then take your nylon pliers and just flatten it out nice and flat. So you get all three of those cores laying down there perfectly against each other. Now, since I have a, an, a, an open core in there, the, th the middle core is open, it's not holding on to anything. That's why I'm going to glue it. Just to give it a little extra stability. And really, it won't really move, but when I'm dressing it and putting ribbon on it, my sliders on it, it'll move if you don't do this. So it's always a good idea to try to get it all as secure as you possibly can. So that's why I put a little glue on the end here. I'm explaining things pretty well today. Oh, look. I'm starting to fire. That can't be healthy for you too, that smell. 
That can't be healthy. You fucking glue lighters. You stick lighters, man. You guys are you guys are killing. This is awful. It smells awful. Glue gun is so much cleaner. All right, so we're gonna let that dry. It's pretty easy though. I have to admit, a little a little taken back. Bones says torch the glue. Bones, not supposed to say that. Not on vapor five, sir. <laughs> let me have a little drink of coffee. Try to recover from this. See a bunch of Black Hat fam in the chat today. Thank you for joining me, guys. I appreciate it as I do every day. You guys are awesome. I'll tell you, I, I was a bit chaotic before I came on here. I'm trying to do a bunch of different stuff. And today, you ever get one of those days where it just feels like um, it feels like you're doing a bunch of stuff but doesn't feel like you're getting anywhere? And uh, today was one of those days. And I think it was just coming back from the holiday and the first real day of work, um, you know, since Christmas, before Christmas. So I was pretty busy. And uh, I just felt like I was just grinding my gears all day. And, uh, yeah, and then I got home and I got some stuff to do. My wife's car won't start. And uh, we just replaced the alternator. We just replaced the battery. It's not, uh, not turning over. So I think it may be time for the wife to get a new car. Now, she has been adamant that she needs a new car for, like, the last year. So, like, right now, she's upstairs fuming because it's not starting. So... I uh, I have the the uh, mobile charger. If you guys know what that is, you hook it to your battery, it charge it basically starts your car for a mobile starter. Have that plugged in the wall and, and and charging right now. So hopefully I get it started. If not, I am gonna have to go to the to the car uh, car uh, dealership and buy a car, but not tonight because tonight does not sound like the night I want to go out and spend all that money. For God's sakes, oh. That's what you got, you know, buying a new, buying a car, man, you got like, I'm old school about it. You got to like plan for that shit. You know what I mean? Like you can't just go out and buy one. I know people do, but that, that ain't me. So what kind of car, what kind of car do you guys think uh, Mrs. Uh, Black Cat should get? What kind of car would you like to see Mrs. Black Cat rolling in down the highway, down the, down the Ohio streets? Because I know what kind of car I think she should get. I can guarantee not the kind of car she thinks she should get. I can guarantee you that 103,000 million percent. Tesla, Jesus clutch. It's fucking Tesla. <laughs> uh, no, please do not put that into her head. Volvo, monster truck. Tim says monster truck. I like, I like that idea. Monster truck would be fantastic. She'd be a good monster truck driver. She'd smash the fuck out of shit. She would literally smash everything. I would, I'd be very happy about it. All right. Let's see what we got here. How's that looking? All right. So now I'm just putting sliders on it, getting it nice and dressed. And uh, we're going to put one more on. I put two sliders on it. One as my guard and then one in the back just to kind of keep everything nice and neat behind the in front of the build. And I do that by just going up to the top here where I know it's nice and flat and put four nice wraps on here with 0.5 ribbon and we're going to flatten it out. There we go. So now I have 27 gauge framed around a 0.4 by 4 piece of square wire. Decor I did was 27. I'm going to guess it's going to work. I don't know if it'll work or not. I got a 26 gauge right here in case it doesn't. But I'm going to try to use the tension of the build to address it right. All right, so let's move that down just a bit. All right, now I'm going to take this. It's still not, I don't have it. See how it's loose down here at the end? It's going in the, dr in the uh, drill. I'm going to move this down some. Move that down to about right there. All right. Shama Lama. Shama Lama Lama Ding Dong. Do you guys like the, the, blue, the Animal House reference there at the beginning? I don't know how many people recognize that. That's so like. That movie was is old for me. Like that movie came out in like seventy. I think it came out in seventy eight. Fantastic movie. If you've never seen it, like yesterday when Corey said he didn't know who Waylon Jennings was, I was like, dude, are you fucking serious? Like you don't know? Like how am I that old? Like that's when you realize you're that old and it like sucks and you're like, holy shit, I really am that old. That's awful. I'm terrible. All right, so I got my bring you guys down here so you can see. Stay put. Oh, I wish I had a touch screen. It'd be so much easier. 
Up, up, up. There we go. And I'm going to move this camera up too. Need a production assistant. Move this up. Doing this all with the wrong hand. There we go. All right. So you see here, what I've done, I've got it hooked to my swivel here. All right. I'm pulling it nice and tight away from the swivel, keeping everything nice and neat. I'm going to run this all the way down to the drill chuck, right? So, and holding it nice and tight. When I get down close to the end, I'm going to clip all three of these ends nice and even. So they're nice and even. They're staying together really, really nice. Grab this here. Then I'm going to grab my glue again. And I'm going to put a nice big glob around the end here that's going into the chuck of my drill. And that will give the drill something to grab onto. And it keeps me from having to bend. I hate bending the ends. I hate that. And I think it, I think it really is a pain in the ass. I think it can mess your build up. So what I do is I just put a nice big glob of glue on here. Something that the drill chuck can grab onto that will hold that core in there perfectly. Instead of bending the ends up. That's how I do it. So I'm going to let that dry. You see it bubbling up a little bit. Just take it and wrap it around there even more to kind of flatten it out. There we go. You want it to be nice and even. You don't want one side having too much on it and the other side not. All right. So we're going to go in here. I'm going to move this up some. Make sure it's, well, it's not done yet. Let's let it get nice and set. Because the more I let it, if I don't let it get set, what will happen is I'll put it in my drill chuck. And then when I crank down on it, it'll pull that. It'll be a pain in the ass getting it out of there. I, I'd rather avoid that. So I'm going to let it dry. All right, it's nice and dry. So let's bring this up here. Put this in the center of my drill chuck. Clamp it down. Looks like it's in the center. Now I'm just going to tighten it up, move it out, and now I have a little bit back. And let's see if I can straighten that out. There we go. So there we go. So now I have, now give it a spin test. Nice and centered. I want to make sure that my drill is nice and tight. I've got it twice. All right, that looks pretty good. So go here, I move that piece of 40 gauge I have all the way down here. Now I just take my nylons and I clamp down right on that 40 gauge just to tighten it up and straighten it out, just to keep it nice and tight right there. Cut off all the excess because I don't want that getting into my build. Get rid of all that extra stuff laying around there. Take my decor, now I gotta stretch my decor. So what I do is I, I do the pretty much do a no stretch method. But what I, I actually do stretch it a little bit just to start it. So with this, I'll just take it down. You guys can see me. I got it here. I got it clamped to my table. And I just go about an arm's length. And that's just to kind of get it started. Like I don't I don't try to um I'm not trying to make it stretch. I'm not trying to make the stretch. Like I I do it all with tension. And since I don't know the actual exactly how this is going to lay then I'm just going to do it that way. I don't have that much of a decor, so we'll see how far I get down this core. Hopefully I get enough for two sets. I need about, for two sets, I need about 14 inches. That's what, I haven't said that joke in a while. That's what she said. <laughs> All right, it's tied on there good. Let me clean this up. And we will start. Okay, so I took my decor and what I did was I hang it off the side of my table. I have a little thing here on my table that hangs it off so it doesn't go straight down to the ground. Once it starts getting close though, I, uh, I pull it and put it right between my legs. I always have a problem and that's why I don't use a lot of 38 gauge and 40 gauge because I always have a problem with it getting caught on things and it pisses me off. 36 gauge is pretty malleable it's not malleable and pretty tough so you can pull it through a lot of snags whereas 38 gauge you can't if it gets snagged on something it basically extends the whole thing out and ruins the fucking decor so you have to be careful with 38 gauge 40 gauge does it even more and i can't stand that plus i don't think it vapes that great i think 38 gauge and 40 gauge don't vape as good as 36 and 37 um it certainly nobody can argue it certainly does not last as long as 36 or 37 that's for damn sure <sighs> 
All right. 531. I should be done with this in about 10 minutes. Probably max, maybe less. We'll see here. So let's start it up. And we're just going to let it start for about a half an inch or less. And what I'm going to do, now that I've got it started, I go in here and I just put a nice press on it to flatten it out, get it nice and straight. Then I pull my, uh, move this down about an inch. And it looks like it's laying okay. It's tight, but it's laying all right. So now we just let it roll. All right, so I did about an inch there, and I'm just going to kind of inspect it, see how it looks. Looks like it's laying pretty good. Um, I, I'm 20. I think this is actually probably the right decor. I could have, <clears throat> I could have kicked it up to 26, but it's laying pretty good. So we're just going to take this down just a bit more, about two inch, inches away from it. Just I want to keep everything nice and tight right out of the chuck and let it go again get your fingers a little bit of moisture so that the decor slides through and let's see if I can back just a touch here and straighten it up more there we go all right so I'll start it out and I'm just watching it whoops okay so it's wanting to let me get it stretched out a little bit it's wanting to mohawk on me Let's just flatten that out. That's one thing about stopping and starting is you don't keep the same tension. So when you restart, it can be a pain in the butt. All right, here we go. Looking pretty good. So let's move that down. I think I got enough for about. I hopefully I got enough here for two or for two sets. We'll we'll keep an eye on it. Now I'm just moving my hand down ever so slowly, making sure I keep that nice angle. Want to lead it? You gotta lead your alien. down just a bit more don't need to be over impatient about it now I could probably take that uh, I probably don't need that slider anymore but since I'm doing it live I'll just keep it on there make sure it's nice and straight We're gonna get definitely get two sets out of this. All right, let's go ahead and roll down here. Okay, so I'm on the home stretch with this decor. Let's see how much more I can get. All right. 
it's laying really, really nice. I'll give you guys a close up of it, but it looks really, I'm telling you, putting a square wire into a, into an alien, it lays absolutely beautifully guys. I mean, it looks so, so nice. Let's see, I hope I got enough here. Let's just keep it rolling. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha, I moved the drill. All right, so I mohawked it just a touch there. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna reverse the drill and I'm gonna take away the imperfection. It's gonna be a little bit off, but I'm gonna do it anyway. And if what you can do is just lay it real nice and even against each other. Just let it go real slow. And literally, you won't even be able to tell. You just gotta stop it in time so that you can get back and get it back on there correctly. But it happens to everybody, so just reverse the drill, take off the part that you don't like, and then go nice and slow and put it right back on. And maybe you'll get one turn the wrong way, but ultimately once you flatten it out, wrap it, you won't even see it. And it won't compromise the build. And that's the most important thing, is that little bit of uh, those two that are going this way is not going to compromise the integrity of the coil. So you can still vape it. Nobody would even be the wiser that it was even there. All right, I'm almost done, so. We're gonna do, we're gonna maximize this decor. So I'm gonna show you how I do that. Let me get you down here as close as I possibly can. Bring it here, focus it in. I'm gonna maximize this decor as best I can. So here's what I have left and I'll show you guys. That's all I have left. So I'm gonna hold it about as close as I can to, and I'm just gonna take it medium speed. It's almost to my fingers, almost there. Now I'm just gonna let it, almost there. Now I'm gonna let my fingers move closer to the core and I'm just gonna hand it off right to the core. There we go. That way I've maximized my, my uh, decor so I get as much of a build as I possibly can. I still have about probably four inches here that I didn't actually get to use, which is kind of kind of disappointing, but that's what happened. I ran out of wire. So that's what we gotta deal with. All right, cut it off here. Now, first thing I'm gonna do, get rid of the extended part here. I'm gonna take it, now that I've got my, I've got a little blemish there I showed you guys near the end, but it's not gonna be anything that's going to right here. I'll show it to you guys here in a second. And I'll show you, yeah, let me show you guys that. So, this is what that looked like when it's ultimately done. Get that here. Bring you back down to the macro. I, got, I need to move this drill. That's what I need to do. And let's see. Bring you all the way down. It's right there. Let me focus that in. So that is what it looks like. That's... I don't know how well you can see that. That's the blemish I have on it. Now I'm gonna leave that in. Ultimately what I'd like to do is make that a lead so that it's not in my build at all. But quite frankly, if it's not in and not at a lead position, I'm still gonna use it because it's not gonna compromise. And what you can do is take your nylons and just press it down as best you can. Press it down as best you can and try to cover it up. But like, for example, this is a 20 inch stick, okay? and I got one blemish on it, I'm not gonna worry. You know what I mean? I, you know, you want a perfect stick, but it doesn't always happen. So let's take a look. I need three and a half inches per. We're gonna do these, let's see, 27 gauge. I'm gonna do these five wraps on a three. If I do it any lower, any smaller than that, it's gonna be low. It's gonna be really fucking low. So I'm not gonna do that. So I'm gonna do five wraps on a three and a half, so which means I need Three and a half, or really it's three and a quarter, honestly. I've written that. Yeah, three and a, it's a little under, a little over three and a quarter, but let's see. So I got 18 inches. If I did three inches for each one, then I could get three, well, fucking I'm not gonna do that. Let's just do three and a half. 
to this one here. Get it on here. We'll cut it up and then I'll wrap her up and we'll take a look. Right about there. All right, there's one. Now, once you get your first one cut at the right length, what I do is I just lay them up next to each other and keep going. Yeah, I could. Three, I could probably, Nick. I, I just like having longer leads. Um, I mean, if they're for me, like I actually have a, um, like my coils, I, I vape my blems. So, and typically the leads on them are, are cut. Basically what you would do after you cut your leads and get them ready to install, that's how long my leads are. Because I cut them, once I, if I have a blem piece, I'll cut it in like two and a half inch pieces and then wrap it and leave my leads like tiny, tiny bit. Just because, you know, I don't need that much. But for like when I'm giving them to somebody, like I, I typically want to leave them like a, a nice long lead. In case they're not used to installing it. You know what I mean? It just makes it a little easier for them. All right. Then I have, so I have two sets here. And then I have one extra piece. That's about, yeah, I'm going to cut right at that blend. So that's my blend piece. So I'm not going to actually use my blend piece. I'll just. Actually, it's on the lead, so that will work. All right, so there's two sets. Let's wrap one of these up and see how it looks. Time is at 5.42. Good on time. Get this out of the control chuck. All right, three inches, or excuse me, three millimeter. Put this in the crank. Now you guys won't see it. I'll show it as soon as I'm done here. You guys know how I wrap shit. I use uh, hemostats. Fuck it, I'll show you. All right, so hemostats. Clip them on the end of your coil here. Take your jig. This is in my vise. The coil's in my vise. Take my three mil jig, and I'm just going to pull it right down over top of it. We're going to do five wraps on a three mil. Bring it all the way down. When I'm done, I catch it with my finger against it just like that here. And I just take that in and bend it all the way up. I'll take it off of here. Grab my pliers, my nylons. Grab that in that's just a touch short, and I'm just going to pull it out just a bit, flatten it out real nice, and then just sandwich them back together like that. Here we go. There's one. And this is what they look like. They're absolutely gorgeous, man. I don't know if you guys see this here. Absolutely gorgeous. I'll tell you what. Let me wrap them, and I'll set them down because I'm – too much coffee i'm shaking too bad for you guys to be able to see them let's go back there we go all right let's wrap it let's wrap all four of them up put it into your vice here get a nice clamp on it and grab it five wrap two three four five fifth wrap bring it all the way up catch it with your finger hold it there give it a thumb turn we go that one's actually really nice that's perfect next one these will be going out on saturday to people from the patreon so if you if i owe you a welcome package you are looking at something i'll be sending out these are kind of new like i'm going to start mixing square and round wire together so i guess you could call this new it's not something nobody's ever not done before it's really like a fralian but instead of using the uh instead of using ribbon you just use the square wire. <laughs> Monday's episode and get in an entry for the giveaway today. Put a number between one and 150. If you guys have not done that, go do that now. You got a chance to win two 30 mils of a Dory liquid and a set of coils from Corey Prescription Coils.
two, three, four, five. All right. And then I have that one more piece I got to wrap. This one might be a little short. Let's see. Because I cut it right at that blend. Four. Nope, it's not. All right, cool. It's actually longer than the other ones. All right. All right. Get that around there. I'm going to cut off that crappy end. There we go. All right, let me show you what, what we're looking at here. Five. Let's see. Bring you down, macro, there we go. So that's what we're looking at. You can see it, we'll bring it down closer. There we go. Oops. Well, that's about as good as I can get them. There you go, five aliens. So we'll put these to the side. I got a couple sets over here that I got a label and shit, but I will do that after all this. All right, let's clean everything up. What time is it? 57. All right, guys, so get your entries in. And let's move this over here. Ugh, out of, well, I don't need to move it all that way there. Out of my way so I can use my computer. God, man. I'm like, you know, you know, I feel like sometimes you ever see like a, a guy in a band that has like cymbals in his knees and he's playing every instrument. That's the way I feel like doing this show. I feel just like that. I feel like I'm like the one man band that you see on the corner, like asking for tips. That guy. That's what I fucking feel like. I have so much shit going on. I try to do so many different things. It's hard. I need a fucking production assistant. Please. Darth Vapor. Do you want to be my fucking production assistant? All right, so let's grab, let's open up that entry. It is 548, so I'm going to go ahead and open, once I open the episode here, nobody else can put in an entry. Skip ad, turn that off. Looks like we got 43 entries, 43 entries, not bad. Right, there we go. I got them all. Okay, back up to the top. All right, hopefully you all entered. Here we go. One through, we're doing a number one through 150. Closest to the number without going over will be our winner. Random number generator. One, whoops, 150. All right, first number is 87. Second number is 32. And the third and winning number is 16. Closest to the number without going over the number 16. I hope you guys can see that. All right. Let's scroll down and take a look. Seven JTH Reviews is our leader. Seven. 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 I got a seven. Thirteen Cal's Irons. Was the number sixteen? Thirteen Cal's Iron. Fifteen Clutch. I got a fifteen from Clutch. I bet you that's gonna be tough to beat. Fifteen, fifteen. Do I have a sixteen? Do I have another fifteen or a sixteen? Fifteen. We got Clutch. You're the winner, brother. Congratulations! I need like a, I need an applause uh, sound effect when I get a winner. Like, I can fucking win! I'm gonna, I'm gonna work on that. I'm gonna work on that. That's a fantastic idea, Scott. Scott, you're a fucking genius. I'm gonna fucking work on that. <laughs> Congratulations, Cal's. Great job, brother. Or not, Cal's. Fuck. Clutch. <laughs> Adore giveaway. This is sponsored by Adore Liquid. And that is clutch. You're going to win th two 30 mils. And you're going to win. You won. 
uh, set of coils. Coils. You will cover shipping now. I have other stuff. You're in the Patreon. I have other stuff I'm sending to you. So I, that's going out next Saturday. So we'll talk and see how you want to do things. And maybe I can get your order done this week uh, for the Patreon stuff. All right, let's go back to the chat here. All right, good, 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 good. I might as well go ahead and wrap these up. Let me just go ahead and put these in little containers and I'll watch the chat while I do that. Maximize my time here. Let's maximize my time. I just watched myself. I just watched myself do that on the camera here. Because it's behind over here. All right. Congratulations, Clutch. I'm happy you won, brother. Right on. All right. Let me grab some canisters. Figure out what these ohm out at. I'm a little curious what these ohm out at. Need three. No, well, yeah, I'll do. Well, I can throw one in there and an extra one. All right. So, how I'm going to measure these is I'm going to measure these just like they're a frame staple for alien, for alien. So, I'm going to use the frame staple uh, coil selection on my app here. And we're going to do frame staple. We're going to do number of, of outside cores is 27 gauge. And the inner is four pieces of 0.4 and it's nichrome. So let's see what this ohms out at on a five wrap. On a dual, I'm gonna guess, um, I'm gonna guess it's gonna be under 0.1. I'm gonna guess it's gonna be close. If I did 36 gauge, yeah, 36 gauge wrap. All right, five wrap on a three mil, 0.114. Point one one four, not bad. All right, so we'll do these. Uh, what do you want to call them? Uh, square aliens, I guess. I guess yeah, square aliens. Yeah, that's what we'll call them. Square aliens. Point one one square alien. Point one one nichrome eighty. Just in case somebody is allergic. I know to not give them to him. All right. Square aliens, square aliens, square aliens, square aliens, square aliens. I can't fucking say it. I see what you're trying to do there, Big G. I see. I see your motive there, sir. Square aliens, square aliens, square aliens. <laughs> How's everybody doing out there, man? I'm just like rolling through the show today. All, hy all, all hyped up on caffeine. Rolling right through. Crushing right through it. All right, there's two sets. Oops, put this on here. Then I have ooh. put some labels on it. Sounds like other people are building too, so you probably probably don't mind me sitting here building the entire time. I haven't done that in a while. I don't think I've done that in like maybe three weeks. I build, I build, like I said, I build a lot more. I just haven't been building live because I've, I've had shows. Now, tomorrow on the Vape at Five, you know what tomorrow is on the Vape at Five, don't you? Do you know what tomorrow is? Do you have any idea? Hello, Nick. Goodbye, Nick. Nick's here. <laughs> Remember, Nick used to come in when I first started talking. Nick's here. Nick. <laughs> Fanboy coming at you. All right, let me, let me uh, put a label on these two. These are six wrap. These are square aliens too, but a different size. So let me, uh, let me, Ohm those out real quick. And there, here we go. Canthal, 30. These are 30 gauge cores, or 30 gauge frames. And three pieces, of, but they're uh, 0.3 square. So three pieces of 0.3. Yeah, I hope you guys are following. And it's wrapped in 37 gauge. So let's see what these are out to on a, I think these are six wrap. Yeah, six wrap. Let's see what they are out to. Six, 2.23. A little too low for series. Got that here. And we'll put, uh, oh, here it is.
Stand Up 3D, new sponsor of the show, and if you saw, you are going to get, now, I've been using Stand Up 3D, I've been using Jesse's stands forever, and they're fucking awesome, I have them all over, my, I have like, literally, have them down here, I have them upstairs, like all, any place I have Addies, or uh, mechanical mods, I have one of Jesse's stands, they work fantastic, they're really nice, and the guy is like, he's like the most ingenious person I've ever met, like he's always coming up with new ideas and things, like to buy, and uh, I know he's busy, but yeah, if you guys, if you haven't got any, dude, I would definitely check him out. Square alien. The guy knows what the hell he's doing. That's for damn sure. 0. 0.23. These are N80. All right. We'll label these up. And we will be done. What time is it? 56? Yeah, standard 3D is awesome. Ungenious. More like it. <laughs> Nick! Quit heckling me, Nick! Nick's, Nick's heckling everybody. <laughs> holds my dreamer stack perfect he holds he holds my stack all the time fantastically holds it <laughs> so tomorrow on the vape at five as i previously mentioned partly i always get interrupted every time i get ready to say something i just like go off on another tangent always i always go on another, what is wrong with me what the hell is wrong with me tomorrow on the vape at five it's a very special, very, very special treat for you. You guys know what tomorrow is, don't you? You know what tomorrow is? Tomorrow, we get bubbly. Tomorrow, we get bubbly. Tomorrow is the vaping hot tub. Now, if you've never seen the vaping hot tub, vaping hot tub is fantastic. Now, if you have never seen it, I got a guy for you who's on the vaping hot tub. His name's Charlie. I call him Hunky Charlie. You know why I call him Hunky Charlie? He's a fucking stud. That's why I call him Hunky Charlie. It's awesome. He's, 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 he makes the show. It's, be, it's better because he's on it. Tomorrow, I'll be live with Hunky Charlie on the vaping hot, the vape hot tub. It's not the vaping hot tub. It's the vape hot tub. I fucking named it. So I should probably know what the name of it is. It's called the vape hot tub. It's a fantastic show. You guys are going to love it. I don't know what the topics are going to be tomorrow. We're not going to have a guest. I can't have guests. You know why I can't have guests? Jane, do you know why I can't have guests? Take a guess. Clutch, do you know? Anybody? Know why I can't? Because my fucking computer won't run good enough for me to do it. Which is one of the reasons I got the Patreon to try to get me a new computer. I'm trying to get a new computer. So if you want to join the Patreon, help me get a new computer, improve the show. If I improve the show, it's 20 cents a fucking episode. <laughs> is this worth 20 cents? I hope so. If it's not worth 20 cents, I should probably jump off a fucking cliff. Feels like it's worth 20 cents to me. Maybe not this episode. This episode is probably worth like, I don't know, six cents. Tomorrow's episode is going to be worth like a dollar. So you'll make up for it tomorrow. Tune in tomorrow for Vaping Hot Tub. As soon as I get a new computer, for the, we're going to start having guests. Female guests on the Vaping Hot Tub. So me and Charlie are going to bring some ladies into the Vaping And our first guest is somebody you all know. We, you all know her. She's gonna, we already got our first guest planned. I already talked to her. Sewn it in. Put her in the books. As soon as I get a new computer. So help me get a new computer. Okay. That way I can have guests on the Vaping Hot Tub and my computer won't crawl to a goddamn stop. <laughs> I need to stop drinking coffee. After this, I have to go outside and try to figure out what's wrong with my wife's car. Pretty happy about that. Yeah. I don't, I don't smell anything cooking. I think she's angry. She's angry her car's not working. She's angry she doesn't have a new car. So if you're, in the, if, you're in the, uh, if you're in the, if you're on the Discord, talk to her. She's on the Discord. Tell her you feel sorry for her and that you will, you will, you will bash me later for not get having a new car for her because that she literally thinks she she should have a new car right now and i'm like why would you need a new car your car runs great well now that 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 argument's completely out the fucking window because it doesn't run great it doesn't run great at all it really hasn't run great in like probably about a year it probably hasn't run great i just run like i'd run it i'd run that son of a bitch till the wheels fall off you know it doesn't run but she drives lord she drives she's she's a terrible driver ask her about her driving Ask Veronica about her driving. And I want I want to hear what she tells you about her because it's awful. Just know that whatever she tells you is a fucking lie. Unless she tells you it's awful, unless she just like straight up comes out and be like, my driving is awful, I'm an awful driver, then she's lying. She's lying. Just know that. Just know it. Know it. <laughs> There's a gingerbread man. I don't know what that means. In the carburetor. Is that how you spell carburetors? Yes, I don't even know how to spell that. Carburetor? <laughs> All right, guys. Tonight on the YouTubes, it is Wednesday. Um, I believe it's a regularly scheduled Wednesday. I'm not sure, but I'm assuming. 
Tonight, you have Heavy Metal Vapor. He is on at 9 o'clock with Johnny Drips. And usually, uh, Mr. Mike Vapes is on there as well. I don't know who his guest will be. He always has a lot of fun, a lot of great people on there. Um, I'll be in the chat for that. And uh, then you have uh, Golf TV Vapes, which is one of my favorite shows. That's on at 1030 tonight. So, I will hope everybody gets a chance to tune in and watch them YouTube tonight. Tomorrow, we are back. Tomorrow, we are back with another episode of The Vape Hot Tub. I invite all of you to come and get sudsy. Come and get bubbly with us. It's going to be a great time. It's only going to be me and Charlie until I get a new computer. Love you guys. You guys are in recovery. I want you to stay strong, and I promise I will too. I'll see you tomorrow in the hot tub.